Shalom, Shalom. First off, we'll leave all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Badash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Peace, grace, and mercy be upon the house of David, Dabayath Dabada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. And double lines of the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the men that's preaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai in all sincerity and in all truth. And to the men, women, and children that are listening and learning and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach to the best of their ability day in and day out. All right, so this uh, lesson, you know, is going to be entitled uh, Neither Give Place to the Devil. All right, and you know, just something that just came to my mind, you know, as I was doing my, you know, daily uh, early morning meditation. All right, which we should, which we are supposed to be doing. All right, and you know, thinking about the meditating, actually, you know, the spirit, the Lord put the spirit on me to uh, do this. Uh, you know, uh, bring this out, man, because you know, we we want to, you know, be as spiritual uh, as we can. You know, in these carnal bodies, we want to, you know, continue to, you know, do the things that are pleasing unto the Most High Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai through the Holy Spirit. So. You know, we got to continue to, you know, think upon, you know, the spiritual, uh, you know, the fruits of the spirit, man. All right. Continue to think upon, you know, set your affections on things above. All right. Uh, uh, you know, have your mind bombarded with uh, righteousness. OK, because, hey, man, the, these devils, these demons are out here trying to sift, man. OK, especially in these last days and these last times, man. All right. Uh, uh, these demons are going overdrive, man, because. They're 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 uh, they're ruling, you know, in, in liberty right now. OK, through the man of sin. All right. Esau, Edom. OK, these demons are out and about seeking whom, whom they may devour, man. OK, so uh, as we as being spiritual men, we got to put on that armor. OK, because we are we are at war. All right. Spiritual war pursuant to Ephesians 6 and 16. So we got to put on that armor, which is, you know, the the. The breastplate of righteousness, okay, the, the, uh, actually, let me get that real quick. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6, I'm going to start at verse uh, 11, 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, okay? So we got to put on a whole armor. Now, is this talking about a physical, you know, uh, armor? No, this is how you know that the things that are written man okay like we brothers always say that this 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 word this gospel this truth this way of life is spiritual okay like how how our, our lord said yahweh shy that yahweh is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth so you so you can't be carnal when, when you're dealing with or you can't be carnal minded when you're dealing with uh this with this gospel man okay with this uh you know with this walk all right, you got to have a spiritual mindset, which this world, you know, is, is all carnal, man. Everything that this world promotes, everything that, you know, everything that this world is indulged in is in, is in carnality. But our fight is a spiritual fight, okay? Because even though this world, everything is carnal, guess what? That's because this this, this devil, all right, the Esau Edom, the man of sin, the son of perdition, he's, he's killing people spiritually, all right? He's killing people spiritually by uh, pushing out carnality. All right, so we have to put on the uh, the the, uh, the armor, the whole armor of the Most High, that we can stand against the wiles of the devil. All right, the wiles. You go into that word is crafty devices, or, or witchcraft. Okay, so a way to do that is by meditating. All right, on the on the on the spiritual things. All right, the the scriptures. All right, the prophecies. All right, staying in the spirit to the best of your ability. All right, and staying in the spirit is talking about the, the Holy Spirit, man. Dash, asking the Lord to, to continue to sup with you in that manner, man, in the manner of, of righteousness, man. To show you a lot. To uh to guide you in the ways that are pleasing and acceptable unto the most high. All right. This is how you fight against the wiles of the devil, the craftinesses of the uh, uh, of the devil. Okay, because if you're not meditating, if you're not staying in the spirit, all right, keeping that spiritual armor on, then this devil, he's going to, he's going to devour you, man. All right, he's going to he's going to chew you the hell up. Let me get that too.
All right. So so as a title reads, man, neither give place unto the devil, meaning give neither give place unto the devil inside your mind. All right. Because it all starts with your mind. All right. Where, uh, you know, um, being synonymous with your spirit. Don't let this devil. All right. Don't let the devil, whether it be the spiritual demon, Satan and, and his demons. All right. These are uh, left handed uh, spirits that, that are trying to sift you, that's trying to, you know, entice you to to, to to do wickedness, this flesh. OK, which is which is carnal. OK, or whether it be the crafty devices of Esau, don't give them place in your life, man. OK, don't give them place in your in your life. And how and how is a, a perfect way? The way to do that is by is by staying grounded and rooted in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Hey man, bombarding yourself now, scripture tells you not to be over righteous. But look, we in the last days, man. We in the times where we need as much <laughs> we need as much righteousness as we can as we can consume, man. Alright? We need as much, you know, uh, a spiritual elevation as much as we can get. Okay? So, you know, this this word, Yahweh Shai, this gospel, should be always on your mind, man. Meditating upon these things. Okay? Having these things always in the forefront of your mind. In in every action, all right, even if you're doing things that don't that don't, you know, necessarily um that don't necessarily pertains to the gospel, but what? Always having in the back of your mind the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you act. Where are you going? All right. What you what you thinking about? These things should always be in your mind so that you can't so that you won't give a uh, place unto the devil. Let me get that. Uh, Ephesians chapter four. Ephesians chapter four, verse 27. It says, neither give place to the devil. Neither give place. Don't let the devil have a have a have a, a position in your life, man. All right. Now, the scripture says that we all fall short and, and that a righteous man fall of seven times. Yeah, a righteous man going to fall seven times, but what is he going to do? He's not going to fall into, into mischief. He's not going to fall into perdition. He's not going to give place into the devil. He's not going to let the devil, you know, set up shop and, and, and be a part of his uh, of his day-to-day uh, -day life, man. No, when, when, when you fall short, you acknowledge it and you repent and then you get back up, okay? And when these devil demons come, you rebuke these demons, man. Okay, you rebuke these demons, even if you by yourself and you feel, you know, you, you have these demons in your mind trying to entice you to, to think wickedness or try to entice you to do wickedness. Hey, man, you got to rebuke these demons, man. I, I, what is it? Shatan. Okay. All right. Agarika Shatan, man. All right. Arnadan Mayanya Shatan. All right. Get away from me, Satan. Get from me, Satan. All right, you gotta rebuke these demons, man. <laughs> and 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 you say it by Shimmy Hawashai, and these demons fear that name, man. The Don Manyanya Mayanya Shatan by Shimmy Hawashai. Okay? You know? You say that, you say that, and hey, if you don't have it in the Hebrew, then say hey, hey, say it in the in the in the in the English, man. It's not or whatever language you speak. Okay? But let me get this uh, you know, one more. You know, I didn't want to make this too long. But just wanted to, you know, in, in, encourage brothers, you know, not to give place to these devils, man. Because these devils, they want, they desire to sift you. Just like how Yahweh Shai told Peter, man. Satan desires to sift you as wheat. That's their, that's their, their, that's what they were created for, man. They were created, the adversaries, these demons, they were created to, to uh, agitate you, to, to, to sift you. Okay? Look at the story about Job, uh, uh, you know, uh, Yahweh. And Satan uh, uh, concerning Job, man, they desire to sift you, man. They, they, these these demons, man, that's their job. So guess what? They want to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So they're going to do as much as they can, man. And that's why we got to always pray that the Lord keeps the Holy Spirit uh, from us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil, man. Okay? Because without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you guess what? You're not strong enough to defeat these demons, man. All right? Like how the 70 told Yahweh Shai, through your name, are uh, these are the devils subject unto us? That's the only way that these devils are going to be subject unto us, man. It's through the name of Yahweh Shai, man, and that's why we pray, all right, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to keep that spirit on us, man, to keep supping with us. All right, James chapter four, verse uh, 
7, it says, submit yourselves therefore to the most high, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Okay, so you got to resist the devil, man. All right, resist him. Don't, don't be enticed by the things that he set up, the wiles. It says, oppose to set oneself against to withstand. Hey, we just read that in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, to withstand the wiles of the devil. All right, so we got to resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resisting means not 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 giving place to this devil, man. Not letting him, you know, uh, you know, play on your mind, okay. Not letting him entice you to think that the things, uh, 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 that of wickedness, that you know, the wicked thoughts are not really wicked, okay. You gotta have be a discerner of good and evil, man. All right, and this is all through staying in the spirit, meditating upon the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so I'm gonna uh, get one more scripture and I close it out. You know, this is a prayer that I pray. You know, as much as I can. This is uh, Psalm chapter 19, verse 14. It says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, the meditation, the things that you think upon, the things that you, you know, are uh, where your mind is at. OK. The, the, the uh, definite um, synonym is the plotting. OK, so what you plotting about, man, you should be plotting righteousness, plotting you know, hey, I'm going to do a, when I get home, I'm going to do a sit down. Or when I get home, I'm going to watch this video. Or when I get home, you know, I'm going to, you know, read, read a couple of scriptures. Or when I'm on my way to work, you know, hey, pray to the Lord that he gives you a, a, a he gives you a, a mind to, you know, a, a topic to push out. You know, these are the things you're supposed to be plotting, man. So that you don't give any place into the devil so that, so that the devil can't come and try to entice you with wickedness, man, with sin. OK, so let the let the words of my mouth and the plotting or the meditation of my mind be acceptable in thy sight. O Yahweh, my strength and my redeemer. OK, and what's acceptable doing this will, man. That's it. That's that's doing the will of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, pushing out this word, making our bodies a living sacrifice. That is what is acceptable to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So you want to plot on those things, man. All right. As as Paul told Timothy. OK. Give yourself holy unto them. You know, meditate on the gift they're rubbing. Give yourself holy unto that, man. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, this was our edifying, you know, to the elect. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. And you don't give place unto the devil, man. All right. Because he'll, he'll chew you up and spit you out, man. All right. So, you know, with that, Shalom.